your news on the go. New information surrounding a house fire in the town of DeWitt. And police tell News Channel 9 they had been called to the Washburn Drive home off Kirkville Road twice in the past few years over meth manufacturing. Now, investigators say it looks like the fire started in the attic area over the garage. The people managed to get out. A dog was rescued but did not survive. This young boy survived only because a low and alert school bus driver did that in Norwich. City school bus driver pulled one of the students back. He was trying to leave the bus, but a car had just blown by her stopped school bus. State law says at the moment you can only be ticketed for doing that if a police officer sees it firsthand. That may change soon with new state legislation that would put cameras on more of those stop arms to catch the violators. Also this morning, New York is considering a move to legalize sports betting right from your cell phone. Well, legislators say making it legal could actually help curb illegal wagers, and millions are spent every year on sports betting in the state illegally. The bill would regulate mobile sports wagers and put an 8.5% tax on the revenue generated. They're pushing to move New York State towards cleaner energy sources. Members of the Syracuse Common Council say they support the Fossil Fuel Divestment Act. The aim is to get state investments out of fossil fuel companies like coal and oil generators and refiners. The fossil fuel investments are performing poorly anyway by comparison to renewable energy sources. Well, both President Trump's eldest son and the Attorney General hit with subpoenas in the last 12 hours. Donald Trump Jr. subpoenaed by the Senate Intelligence Committee regarding the Russia probe. Now, AG William Barr subpoenaed just hours after being voted in contempt by Congress. Barr now has until May 15th to hand over intelligence gathered by Special Counsel Robert Mueller.